Hello, I'm Dr. Jasun Okrahor from Scatterwork, and I'm here to introduce our virtual workshop environment, which we use for project management and team training. Each participant team of four has access to a project simulator, uh, like you see on the screen in front of you, and these teams run in parallel. Each team uh, is connected by its own web conference and then the web conferences of the different teams are also connected together so that uh, when there are discussions about learning and coordination and so forth they can be done by everybody together so several teams run in parallel the teams uh, find that when they move into this that they have a, a project which has been partially planned and their challenge is to adjust the plan so that the project can in fact complete in the 11 scheduled weeks and within budget. You'll see some people have already been assigned to tasks and the grey bar is the original plan but when they assign people maybe the critical path gets longer because m for example maybe somebody has been assigned when they're not available. The people available to us we see here and uh, we can see the activity network here and we can also see the budget. So all those databases are updated live as we make assignment changes. I just make one here. For example, we might say on activity seven, we'd like to apply Fred. So we go into Fred and we'll put him on activity seven. And when we go back to the Gantt chart, we see his name is already added in. Okay, let's go back to the office. So the way it works is that each team plans like that. It takes maybe an hour or so um, of interaction and uh, they try and put it together so that it, when the project simulation runs they have a reasonable chance of finishing in the target time. And then the clock is started and um, I'm just doing that now and you'll notice that the clock here in the left top left hand corner is beginning to tick away. So while it's ticking away, we can still continue with the planning, but sometimes we get um, held back in our tracks because messages come in. You can hear the, the knocking on the door. The lady comes in and she has a message. And the first message is the project team suggests a two hour kickoff meeting. And then we have four options. So the team will discuss these options and decide which one it likes and then vote on one of them. And then it will get advice from the feedback uh, from the coach. In this case, they didn't make the very best decision. While we're doing that, the uh, time is still ticking and you can see this green bar here represents the real time. The first simulation runs for about 90 minutes and then all teams stop and each team debriefs and this is where the learning is from experience did we have a good project manager um, was our communication good between us uh, did we agree did we make good decisions when we had options presented to us uh, these, these four question uh, or four answer um, environments and, and and so on and then um, we can come together as a, as a big team all the teams in parallel will also come back and learn from each other so that's really one of the reasons that this is a synchronous training method is because people learn from each other um, in a very dynamic way by interacting uh, mainly by voice over IP. Then they go into a second planning cycle and then they run the, the simulator runs much faster the second time and whichever team gets there first uh, stops the uh, simulation and then we come back and we have another debriefing session. So that's the basis of it. It's uh, experiential learning and uh, it brings real results and is much liked by the participants. We hope you're going to join in. Thanks very much.